The Reup. Net. Welcome to it. This right here is the Ria with Ndogo Zabuji as well as Shaylan Dikumana. And yes, Batuk is in the building. Whew, where do you guys start? Hey, Aero, uh, hey. oh, Mantega. <laughs> Mantega, yeah. Mantega, as well as Spook Matambo, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. It's been lovely. It's been great to actually finally get you guys into the studio. We, as I mentioned, we had a battle of the new beats, which some artists trying to kill us for. We're like, no, it's just new songs. Not saying which one is better than the other. But we test the listener and 30 seconds of it, uh, they want to decide which one they want to hear in full right so that was the war and yeah. that's what happened yeah. she still goes in and says you see i told you she <laughs> the war. i feel like <laughs> what were we playing just now okay Shay, you know it's all right help us out um before we get into informing people about jira we got a message here from zoti saying like if only i could know what jira means then i would get down with an open mind jira means change change um, yeah change and it's uh it's actually um a protest song yes. protest yeah. uh, against war mm-hmm. all the wars that have been going on you know all over the world um, and and it's just a, a, a demand for change mm-hmm. yeah. that is the voice of Mantega uh, just so people know who's who uh, Spook tell us about um, getting into the thick of things as far as uh, Batuk is concerned I know Mantega is probably the one that knows more about getting it because you've been in the game much longer and you guys actually are solo artists in, 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 in uh, yeah you are solo artists and then you got this Batuk thing to happen so tell us about the Batuk um, situation what's it all about because this is a protest song we've watched more of your videos and all of that and it seems that's the that, that, that's the theme um, as far as uh, Batuk's visuals are concerned. I can't say the music because that changes, you know, about it's all about feeling and emotion and all sure. of that. Yeah. Um, we're just trying to, yeah, we're just good vibes. I mm-hmm. think right now is a really fun part of Batuk where we're not too stuck on any particular mm-hmm. theme, but good vibes. On our last album, we were representing um, sounds from Uganda, Mozambique, mm-hmm. South Africa, through collaborations and places that we oh. traveled. Yeah. Mm. But on this album, it's about South Africa, it's about where we're from, it's about home, it's about um, nostalgia a little bit, mm-hmm. and as well as uh, way forward in terms of beats. Yeah. All right, Arrow. Yeah, where do you come in? What what, what, what do you think you add? Because maybe it's, they know something different. They're like, "Yo, but Arrow does this," and you like, "Nah, I do this." You know? You know? You mean in the in the yeah, room? Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, I mean, when we when we together, we just share some energy. You know, like great vibes in between us. So it depends. Who start the idea? Sometimes Spoke My Tambo start the idea, I start the idea, or Mandela come up with some lyrics, then you know, we just it's just us like trying to have some fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Alrighty, I just want to find out. You said where we're from. I know there's a bit of Moz here. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, and then in South Africa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, but I'm, uh, I'm half Mozambican, half South African. Is I've been it? between the two countries, so. Okay. And are you African speaking, Spook? Just a question. No. What? No? No, no. What do you speak? Was a social lesson. Oh, okay. And then arrow? Baby. Okay. I just wanted to understand the diversity in the group, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I find it so cool that you said where we're from. And I'm like, I'm thinking SA, but there's Moz in between somewhere. Yeah, yeah. for but, sure. But, but I mean, I, it's, Joburg, uh, it's Joburg. Joburg. Yeah, I grew up in... A lot in Joburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Joburg yeah. culture through totally. the last, you know. And you'll hear in the new nice. album now, I mean, in the... Old, in the um, in our first album, mm. we had uh, it was like a very strong lusophone influence, uh, Portuguese driven, you know. Uh, yeah. And now with the new album, there's uh, South African languages. Bring it home. Yeah. All right. So tell us about the the, the, the travels and, and meeting up with these artists from different regions and, and parts of Africa. Because that's what we, we mainly do here. You know, we try as much as possible uh, to, to play music from all walks of life, from different artists, from Congo, as you guys mentioned, in Uganda. What was like, that experience like? Uh, firstly, I'd like to say Big Up Trans Africa Radio. <laughs> 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 Always play fresh African music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it started with um, kind of Mantega showed us a side of her country, you know, of Mozambique. Mm-hmm. And we collaborated with different artists from there, like from really old women, young children. It wasn't like in Joburg where if you're going to link up with someone, they'll generally be in your age bracket or something. But over yeah. there, we went yeah, through so many Yeah, we mean like 90-year-old women, you know. Mm. And playing drums and with mad Four-year-old children. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. And Uganda, we worked with Snama Rasta, with, yeah. uh, with Anet Nanducha, which is a legend from there, vocalist. Yeah. Just okay. lots of different people. So there's, there's that energy, a big melting pot. On this new album, we work with... Um, different homies then from South Africa like mm. there's a Pansola called Maramo yes and yes he, and he's on the TV show Jovijo but he also busts like white done rap so mm-hmm. he features on there Yolanda from from Kylie Chan Cape Town she's on there uh, Mantega's mainly holding down the mic mm-hmm. we're on the beats yeah yeah alright uh, l- looking forward to, to that drop uh, c- can people find out when this we need to play some fresh stuff today <laughs> <laughs> I brought you the, I brought you the flesh let's, let's let it burn oh Shay Shay oh. we've got some fresh stuff happening right now in the studio right love at first sight Lali Nix Map Nix Map yeah alright let's get into Nix Map uh, Batuk is in the studio welcome to it ladies and gentlemen send us your oh, comments hey. questions the whole shebang um, we'd like to find out do you want to say something no, no, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm just saying, away. away. Oh, oh, you hear it. You're ad libbing. Let's get it. Away. <laughs> Trans Africa, oh, fresh, fresh from the bakery. Okay, oh, wow. it's, yeah. it's coming back. It's gonna play it again. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 tell us about this, like the Kwaito feels that uh, PE, you you get on that. Like we haven't been hearing that, like that Kwaito thing. That's what I mean. That's that's uh, what we what we wanna. I mean, that's our kind of focus. We were working with uh, South African sounds, original mm-hmm. South African sounds, and um, I'm a big fan of nostalgia. You know, all, all three of us are really, we, we always end up singing golden oldies. Mm. And so uh, we're trying to, uh, you know, revamp our... our yeah, it's more like uh, when we go travel all over, you know, to Uganda or everywhere, we work with traditional music. So I think now it's about time we educate people outside about where we come from yeah. fire music yeah. our sound our sound yeah. white door original yeah. yeah yeah most definitely mm. so tell us about um, um, this move you, uh, this move right here you dropped that um, what's the feedback as far as that is concerned because there's, there's a lot of love when it comes to all three artists in the respective right as well as uh, the group together but what was the feel when you dropped this move we haven't we haven't officially dropped this move oh, of course, yeah. we got, no. it came through to you guys uh, first you're time kidding we haven't released anything I, over I mean, yeah, 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 we started with the so this is all out of the bakery yeah. what yeah this is crazy because we talk about it like as as colleagues and the djs that come through during the yeah. day and all of that like we talk about it and we feel for me it feels like it's out like you know when the song's out no no, no not, not at all and in fact actually uh w- the only the only way we've put it out is maybe a 30 second audio clip on instagram and mm. the feedback just on those 30 seconds have been you know really good so we're we've excited been, we've to been playing the show we've yeah, been playing the show in different th- countries mm. for the last six months yeah. yeah, yeah, and it goes down mm. within the first. Like, I love the song because within the first ten seconds, ten seconds, people are, people are hey. crazy. And the nice thing is that <laughs> it, it, even in countries where they've never yeah. known quite or heard quite or even down with that slow groove of South Africa, mm-hmm. within the first ten seconds, you see people's back just hey. kicking, hey. Like, the yeah. <laughs> like the movement. Yeah. So I want to find out how do you plan to officially drop the single. How do you, how are you going to release it? Because I feel like this is one of the songs that you shouldn't be slept on and should be released with a bang. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to put out um, a music video. Okay. Oh. Shoot. We got the shoot coming up. Uh huh. And um, we're just going to push it as much as possible. We'll keep playing it in shows. It will mm. obviously be available everywhere we're going to release it. Yeah. Mm. And okay. it's going to be on the album. The album drops in Jan, February, beginning of February. February, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but so we're so excited to just really maybe might, release might it all. Out maybe on iTunes as a single. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It seems like you guys have like a lot of power as far as when and how and all of that. You don't have like these big corporate guys and these A and R's out there that that uh, prescribe to you guys as to where you drop the music. Because right now, just in studios, like you're thinking about it now, like maybe, like maybe, <laughs> you know. No, no. We, we, we release our own music. We have our so, own. Yeah. Label. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot of partners who are, you know, pushing for certain dates and not others. But for the most part, we're in charge. You in charge? Yeah. L- l- let's talk about the. Oh, I had it. It was in my head. It was gone. You see, that's the problem, Shay Shay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about behind the scenes of being in charge. Who does what here? Basically, I want to no. find out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like no, stat no, wise. The, the album, the last album, and this one's gonna come out on my record label, Decca. Decca, yeah. Uh, okay. Music. So the you know liaising with a lot of PR stuff with the mm. distributor, mm. graphic design stuff. That's like my department. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
yeah so, so tell us about yeah that's what i want to talk about this graphic designing stuff and the fact that you guys have people who are urging you and, and, and assisting you in terms of the the paperwork the admin as far as the music is concerned but i want to know your thoughts regarding music especially in this day and age living on terrestrial radio not radio stations like us because we aren't easily you can't just drive into uh, get into your car and plug us in and all of that but what do you think about the intake of music because i feel like spook because uh, i've known him for 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 the centuries and all of that but has been living on my phone you know for a very long time like you know so i want to find out your thoughts regarding the the shift as far as like the 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 community the music community or the people or the people in the world uh, how they taking in this music and where do you stand what do you think about the current intake especially in african radio stations compared to these online stations such as us well we we've we only were a new group Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. for all intents and purposes, we're quite a new group. It's been like a year and a half, two years. Mm-hmm. And Vida was the first song that we pushed out. And we got, we've had a lot, of, you know, for for me, it's the first strong radio reception that I've had, terrestrial or digital, mm-hmm. in SA. So we're just pushing that now. And um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, whether whether it's online or whatever kind of radio, we're just pushing it to for as many people to hear the music as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially in this... In this case, because like you say, on phone, it's one thing, but that's also one audience. If you want to open your music up to as many people as possible, mm-hmm. you have to push it as far as possible. That's yeah, I, I mean, we went as far as burning CDs and handing them out to people oh. um, just randomly, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, just listen and listen to this and then and then we actually I drove past someone I didn't even know that I gave them the CD and I drove past them uh, yeah. not knowing who they are and they're like Batuk yes. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the CD wow. so it's it's you know um, now the music as, game's crazy man. it's highly competitive mm-hmm. yeah shit <laughs> and there's so many people you know trying to get their foot in the door and mm. you know I'm, my music isn't widely played on terrestrial radio, but I've defined my career in another way. Mm. And now it's time to expand so that as many people can hear it as possible. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to music, like it's, t- it's like too much to catch up now. Mm. It's more like uh, when you listen to sound commercially, you know, like now I can hear there can be a style that's going to dominate for the next three months, which didn't exist like uh, 10 months back. So, mm. yeah, I think it's very hard to keep up, but. It's just a matter of an artist if what the sound that you want to achieve at the end of the day mm. so if you try to chase everything you'll be all over the place mm. all right yeah. i'm just trying to find out how easy is it for you to get your music onto terrestrial radio because i had a chat with somebody and they said if you're not signed to one of these big sony's so forth and so on it gets so hard it's been a bumpy road <laughs> <laughs> talk to us about this bumpy road talk to us um it, it's it's about relations. Yeah. Okay. It's about relationships. Yeah. So the history of radio yeah. has kind of made it that it's about somewhat corrupt relations. Yeah. Mm. And mm. the major labels is because they have a direct relationship and you mm. know payola is what payola is. Yeah. But on the flip side, um, there've been some radio hosts just showing love from digging the music mm. and and without you know without radio plugging without any you know just just by chance. Yeah, but yeah. also I think it's kind of crazy for a lot of artists want love from radio but don't show love to radio yeah. for us we've yeah. been going for this time and if you're going to complain about radio why don't we talk about this is the first south african radio interview that we've all sat in yeah. you know what I mean? mm. so it's more about cultivating that relationship and uh keeping it moving last year we couldn't do as much because we spent like uh seven months six on months, months. Oh, no, you know, from February, damn. yeah, nine Baby. months on tour. <laughs> Let's nine talk about out this of the tour. country, nine months on tour. You know, so let we talk about able this to make the move. But now that's our push. Yeah, the, the, the touring life. Because I, I, I see, I was actually chatting to one of our colleagues, Deboho, uh, earlier on. I'm like, bruh, every single. Uh, link you find whether it's on SoundCloud, whether it's on YouTube, there's always someone who's not from here who says yo i was at the show yo I, I i heard that song it's amazing it's all of that like what's the what are do you think people outside of africa are more uh prone to listening to new music than than we are we we it's prefer not even outside of africa mm-hmm. um within africa the people are you know listening to our music but there's we've just somehow we've We've managed to, and I think through uh, relationships that uh, Ero Maniello and Spukmatambo have developed um, 
outside uh, it was it was easy for us to then as a group uh, kind of um, disseminate the sound to, and get yeah, yourself yeah, out yeah, there yeah 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 no, but the, I think what you're saying directly is that we had been building up a momentum before mm. yeah so all, everything that we were plugged into by the time Baduk was created it just plugged in immediately yeah because you know? yeah, yeah. I, when I got onto the Deca, Deca records or yeah I got into that right it was last year or something like that that's when we bumped into the, the tunes right I had a whole meeting in the studio next door with everybody I was like yo this is what's happening right now Thank and you, you, you know yeah. and, 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 and it's, it's been amazing to, to watch from a distance obviously I'm watching every like other person because mm. it's part of my job and all of that but it's it's been amazing to see people who are authentically them not authentically african i don't want to put a name on 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 it because we live in a globalized community you can't necessarily say i'm african right now i don't even look the uh, prescribed african as i speak but no but the, it's about having pride in being african yeah whether you look it talk it or not but mm. some people are actually running away from being african. yeah mm. Yeah. Where you've got an album color and you're just holding dollar bills. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally saw a new cover today that's like that. And yeah. it's a badass, but I was just like, it's uh, you're in Randburg. What's up? Got Shade. <laughs> we Shade. have Patuk in the studio in case you just tuned in. Send us, <laughs> <laughs> send us those comments, suggestions, questions, the whole shebang on Twitter. It's at TransAfrica872, Facebook, TransAfricaRadio.net. Do not forget to hashtag the Re up on all those social media platforms. Also, be give us a ring on plus two seven one one four four seven seven one seven six. Got a message here from Lady Libra saying, "So, but two music are not holding back at all when it comes to the lyrics." Nix mahalelana bambana amatotenu. I loved it. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So yeah, let's get into love at first sight. <laughs> all right, love at first sight. It's the first time you are hearing this anywhere in God's green earth. This is what Africa sounds like in 2017 and beyond. Batuk with love at first sight trans africa <laughs> those are good sounds though and, and and off air we were speaking about the the variety in all three tunes that we've already played mm. and, and and spook mentioned that there's like more songs and they've like working on other songs so they are picking and choosing how d- yeah it's also it's really difficult now mm. selecting tracks for this next album you know we mm. We, don't want, we can't put out a triple disc, so we have to be very selective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the last one, we released everything that we had made pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one, we've got much more. More, more than. Yeah. So it's going to be about making the perfect story, as you said. Yeah, yeah. All right. Something cohesive. Uh, but who's in the studio send us those questions i'm ready just i i will just play the music you know and stop talking and all of that but uh, it's my job to now talk about the music and, and then <laughs> it's this job but anyway so so tell tell us about plugging into the 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 west african sound which is what the whole world is doing as far as the pop culture uh theme is concerned we're hearing a lot of people uh t- not not even the west african sound but the is Nigerian. Nigerian Caribbean that, that that sound is like Afrobeat. This thing is happening in London. Let me just say that you know because the Afrobeat guys in London um, are people from the Caribbean and people from West Africa and now South Africans. What are your thoughts about that sound and and, and where you guys stand? Are you loving it? Do you want to work on it? Would you work on it? The you whole know, shebang. Um, actually. Uh, I th- Spook asked me the other day He said You know Because we've got We've got some really slow Like I don't know I guess maybe you know it as Caribbean Sound mm, or whatever like Zouk dance, dance, dance hall, yeah. And he said what he Because it's happening All over the world now He said uh, You know What 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 if What would you do If somebody says That you're copying I don't know Justin Bieber's Sorry Kind of tempo And I got so offended But he knew He was just teasing Because mm-hmm. I grew up with that music mm. that's Mozambican you know that's in my blood that's how at three years old I was dancing to Zouk I was mm. dancing to Pasada yeah. Kizomba, Kizomba you know yeah. Marabenta like so uh, it's it's so close it's so close and it is it, it, it's it's mine and you know sharing it with them uh, being able to make a mix it's not necessarily that we're reaching out to the Caribbean or to West Africa or whatever it's right here yeah um, mm. and it's surprising to me that uh, that it hasn't uh, that sound hasn't pushed its I mean Marabenta South Africa and uh, Mozambique share the Marabenta sound what is it uh, Mas- yeah 
Mascandi sound yeah, is, Mozambique. and then it was, yeah, mm. Mozambique it's Marabenta, mm. but uh, not so much the pasada, 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 and zouk is like very slow, like Spook was doing now, mm. yeah, yeah, very yeah. slow, but um, uh, there's not, it didn't really filter yeah. in yeah. so much because we don't slow dance we are here Africa. in South Africa it's, oh. it's in faster club, than yeah, they, they'll have a whole night where everyone's just slow dancing. slow thigh to thigh I gotta go you know? check this out eh? yeah it's very sexy it's very <laughs> sexy <laughs> yeah gotta check this out because so, I can't dance so the slower yeah. it is the easier I'll pick it up you know so, but anyway uh, we play a little bit of Kizomba here uh, we have a whole show dedicated to you know Lucifer oh. and Frank yeah. nice. so that's Sunday yeah Sunday do awesome. the right thing 2 to 5 with uh, Sean that's when that happens um, yeah make a music yeah so we'll try and, and, and do as much as we can about South Africa but South Africa Manish is another story this so country right. in so terms I, of what in, in terms of it's it's how they consume music they yeah are we yeah yeah but not yeah when i say this yeah well, i've differentiated i'm like i'm not south africa anymore are, are, are these people yeah, yeah 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 but i feel like no it's because there's too much there's there's too much talent there's mm. too much competition there's too much good vibes so i think everyone now is but i mean i complain i complain often uh that i'm tired of hearing uh i'm tired of listening to the radio and not knowing if it's american or if it's south african i'm tired of, in terms of like trap uh, in terms of yeah trap i don't even know the genres anymore <laughs> but you know i'm with you on that um yeah. I, i'm just confused i'm so confused sometimes and um it's refreshing it's refreshing when i travel outside of south africa i love south africa i love it with mm-hmm. my heart my heart beats here mm. let's not get it twisted um but it's refreshing to hear radios in cars outside of south africa playing their music playing um their rhythms mm. whatever in the clubs in the restaurants in the supermarkets you know playing and and I mean even if it's hip hop even if it's trap it has their own uh, I don't know yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah, something like that a lot of South African artists obviously push a really original and authentic yeah, that's what, I'm not complaining about the artist I'm not complaining the, about the, the gatekeepers yeah. and yeah. or who any like affects what's going to happen to the listener right yeah. where we listen to roughly three different or four different sounds on on mainstream radio and there's like a hundred thousand things that are happening on the streets the salsa nights that are happening around Johannesburg where the kizomba sounds are actually being played yeah. but then we don't then play it on the radio because what happens so when I leave this party then that's the end all end all be all I can't hear the music that i like to jam to on sure. the on the radio like sure. i feel like there's a disconnect and, and individuals should start doing the right thing you know those gatekeepers guys and i know them yeah, yeah you know s- gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you stand Aaron? uh well obviously i mean when you listen to the radio nowadays it's more like you can hear like one song more than four times <laughs> in five hours so yeah. yeah there's no love i mean it depends who you know like who's there mm. so the gatekeepers yeah they're really like pushing the music uh the very same music of their friends to the people so it's really hard to get uh badu playing on radio if you don't know one of them so yeah, yeah. true but, i mean this is this is nothing new Mm. See, that's the problem. Mm. It's yeah, new. Mm. it's always been within the track. I don't really think it's about industry. complaining. Mm. I think, I think at the end of the day, the people decide, and it's about getting the music totally. directly to the people, and they'll decide. They'll know? decide, yeah, because yeah. yes, yeah, the people do have the power. Once yeah, the people the say hit. it's a hit, it's a hit. And in a way, totally. like the youth, and uh, now it's kind of like the younger and younger. They define a lot of things that mm. will happen yeah. for the next five years. Yeah. 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 So it's about yeah, trusting. And I think with social media nowadays, there. Uh, it's helping a lot of artists I mean you can blow up from your own profile on Facebook then the next thing you're playing everywhere mm-hmm. so yeah I think with the social media things are gonna get better and better as long as the internet is cheaper yeah. <laughs> yeah. hashtag data must fall oh, yeah we are watching you eh? <laughs> that's a must fall she had a question I did but I it was sort of answered within the conversation I was just gonna say don't you think um these gatekeepers so to speak are the reason why some artists tilt towards the common sound mm. do you get what yeah. I'm saying the bah mm. bah rap oh. trap die die right. mm. you know what I'm saying mm. where everybody needs to find an ad lib yeah, now you know absolutely. what I'm saying absolutely 
And yeah. as a group, you don't feel the pressure to do the same? Never. No. No, no please. I mean, the math, the math thing is that as much as we we are still building an essay and haven't played shows and now we're introducing our music to radio, we also have the opportunity to play in other places that no South African artists play in. We also play mm. for huge crowds and get great reception for what we do, you know, mm. in a way that a lot of, you know, I can say like 99% of other essay artists have been played the stages, haven't played the places, haven't gotten the reception that we've gotten where we do. So for us, that lets us know that we're doing something right. And it's dumb if you've got something beautiful that's getting a good reception to change it. Just to sound like Migos, you know. Mm. So tell me about the. There influence. is Migos. There is Migos. Migos is there, but there's no other but do. Exactly. Yeah. Very true. Tell us about the influences, because uh, we heard a little bit of the the house house music that was happening back in the day here and around the world, because we yeah. were yeah internationally and all of that. And then we hear a bit of the the quiet door that you guys like, do, do. Are you taking a lot of influences, or is it because you grew up listening to it that it, it's influenced your life? And this is like the song. Than the, the sound that you you enjoyed so much, you want to recreate it. There's there's also an element of that music is it just it comes out comes out of you, mm. you know. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we'll have mission to make a specific kind of song, but sometimes yeah. it's really what you're feeling on the day. And sometimes we'll just be hanging out together and playing um, playing music, you know. Um, not not our music and just be like oh damn yes you know mm. listening to Kwaito for two hours and just be like oh we have to we have to make a Kwaito track no. we just love it so much and we you know it's in us it's in us and it comes out alright alright but Hook's in the studio which one now <laughs> in Kingale what, what do you got there uh, we got Vida we got Daniel we got This Move Play this move. This move is what's coming up. Thank you very much for tuning in. Batuk is in the studio. Let's get into this one. Vida, right here on Trans Africa Radio. In case you're tuning in for the first time, this is the home of 100% African music, 24/7, 365. This is what we do on our daily basis, man, and making sure Africa knows what Africa is all about, as far as this music is concerned. Welcome to it. This right here is the re-up. My name is Dogo Zobuji, and I'm here with Batuk in the studio. Tell us about Nandin Rovu, actually. Yeah. I knew, I knew the question. Nandi is a friend of ours. Yeah. She sings with her sister in a group called Kajama. Kajama. Yeah. Yes. K- J A M A. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. incredible. She's amazing. And hence, you put her on like nine songs. Yeah. Were you like, was she? You, did you kidnap her? Hide her in the studio? Yeah, we had to take her to Mozambique. Yeah, we She crossed the border in the boot. Yeah. No, she's she's a beautiful amazing singer mm-hmm. and um, it runs in the family your mom was a singer the pops plays bass the, uh, all the other sisters sing mm, yeah. damn alright that was crazy yeah I mean, that was an amazing tune also Call Me Naughty also one of those tunes that we also bumped um, yeah man thank you very much for, for joining thank us you. Hey, thank you thank you so much yeah, yeah. yeah. share yeah. a million dollar baba okay alrighty so this will go to each and every one yeah um, Trans Africa Radio plays 100% African music only. That's our primary focus, yeah? Chovicho. So what are your thoughts and takes on that? Um, I think it's excellent. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. I'm going to listen to your radio station more often. Oh, all right. Mm. We got a listener. Y'all, yeah. Eh? Mm. All righty, yeah, no. yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, mm. showing some love to Africa. We're tired of this do and do, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's just keep it whole. Yeah. Keep yeah. it in one continent. Oh. We have such beautiful if music. If possible, man. we should just close the whole Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the whole world comes from Africa. Yeah. So we can't yeah. wait for, for some time. I'm thinking, yeah, after a couple Actually, of years. Actually, others are going to open and go out. People will be doing so. DNA checks. I'm from Sierra Leone, Baba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, we had a guy call us for that. Yeah. And he went and did a DNA test because he wants to get played and he's from Philadelphia oh. Oh. yeah we had to like email each other for weeks yeah. like no brah like wow yeah so yeah you know at the end of the day as much as we we, we punt this Africa thing we're not living in a bubble and trying to close off the world we know of mm. these Migos uh, we, of these Beyonce's of the world and all of that mm. but we, we need to embrace each other first you know That's so it. when you go out there if, if you're not big at home you know it's it's, it's mm. difficult sometimes to, to break out into other spaces mm. so and it's also also nicer, you know, to be like, hey, baba, go to so they'll tell you about me, you know. Mm. So that, that that's the reason we punch you guys on this side of the world and make sure that you know everybody knows about you as much as you guys are out there. Like I've, I've 
Spook Matambo International, Mantega, Arumanya Pelo. You've been doing it so much as so that I feel like we owe you on this side of the world. Like, you know, like, why, why, why aren't we playing them? I don't get I it and all of that, you know. <laughs> so, so, yeah, shout outs to you guys for coming through. Where can people find you as far as social media is concerned and uh, upcoming gigs? Afropunk, I know Spook's going to be, uh, Batuk's going to be at Afropunk in December, right? Yeah, on the 31st. Um, our Instagram is Batuk underscore music mm-hmm. and our Facebook is Batuk music. Yeah. yeah. On Twitter, I'm Spook Matambo. I'm Mantega. Mm. Yeah. And you guys don't want to spook my t- yeah, I will actually just Batuk t- music. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean uh, eventually we'll get a Twitter handle for Batuk as well. But for now you can hit us up on Facebook mm-hmm. and on Instagram. Yeah, Facebook's got more people anyway. All right, moving yeah. on. It's different, but it's different people, huh? I know. Very, yeah, completely different. Point, it's different vibes. Different points, mm-hmm. different vibes. Uh, thank you very much once again for coming through. Shay Shay and I, you, uh, yeah, we're going to continue bumping the series and making sure Africa knows what's yeah. going Dan, down. Thank you, thank so, you so much. Nix Mapa, love it, first sight. Nix Mapa. Spa. Trans Africa Radio. This is Trans Africa Radio.